Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Psych MRI. And this is a 46-year-old female who has pain in her leg. They were worried about a fracture or a stress fracture of the tibia. But we see the tibia is right here. It has this black cortex, the gray marrow. It looks totally normal. There's no tibial fracture, no stress fracture, no shin splints, no edema or periostitis along the front of it. So it just looks absolutely normal. The fibula, the other little bone here, looks great. The front muscles look good, the anterior muscles. But the posterior muscles, we have trouble back here. We have brightness. This is edema or hemorrhage, and it is along the inferior margin of this muscle. So this is the superficial calf muscle. This is the medial side, so this is the medial gastrocnemius. And deep to that, we have this big muscle here, the soleus. So the lateral gastroc is over here. It looks good. But the medial gastroc looks like it's partially torn and stripped right off the underlying fascia, peeled away from this underlying soleus muscle, and these two muscles go down to form the Achilles, but you can see this little piece here of central tendon and thick fascia, discontinuous, and this is the hemorrhage. This shows up really good on another view here, this is called a coronal view, where we're looking straight at the leg. This is just a nutrient frame, and if you're wondering what is that, it's not a fracture, just a blood vessel within the bone or dissecting through the cortex. Looks funny, but this is the tibia looking normal, and the fibula is over here. These are just blood vessels. Over on this medial side is where we have the problem. So this is the medial gastrocnemius coming down, 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 looking good. But we get to here, the distal uh, muscle fibers are frayed and feather-like, and they're torn right from here. Should attach right down here, but it's peeled up to over here, and there's hemorrhage and edema that undermines that. It's peeled right off and elevated. And we call this tennis leg because it's often seen with tennis players who um, make a jerky movement. They spring off you know, with their calf muscle contracted and it rips right here. So the, this patient felt a pop and terrible pain right there. And luckily the conservative, I'm sorry, the treatment is conservative. Usually you rest and elevate an ice at the beginning and you have to put good compression so this fits back down to the normal position and then the blood doesn't accumulate underneath here. And then over time, um, slowly get back to the normal activities and just remember to do lots of stretching before the activity so um, everything is warmed up and this is, doesn't reoccur, which it tends to. So this is an example of tennis leg, which again is tearing of the gastrocnemius and sometimes the soleus muscles here uh, distally. Usually happens in the medial gastrocnemius and it gets peeled up just like this. This is a really classic case and fairly common injury. Tennis leg of the uh, gastrocnemius.